The first lady of the newsroom is a subject of a new documentary. Valley View reporter Yesenia Bergara talked to a CSUN journalism professor about her first documentary. Thank you. Today we are here with Professor Stephanie Blusing, who will be discussing her new documentary. Thank you for joining us, Professor. Thank you for having me. Can you tell us a little bit about Agnes Underwood and her background? Aggie Underwood made history in 1947 when she became the country's first female city editor of a major metropolitan newspaper, which means she was the boss of the newsroom. And at the time, the reporters were all men. She was amazing. She covered so many stories that women just didn't cover at the time. She was covering trials, murder cases. She covered the Black Dahlia in 1947. She uh, interviewed many women who were uh, imprisoned in the Tehachapi um, prison and told stories that nobody else was telling at the time. And as a journalist, how did it feel to step out of your comfort zone and make a documentary? It was harder than I thought it was going to be. Sometimes I, I set the bar a little too high for myself. Uh, most of the time it works out. Thankfully, this time it did. It took a lot longer than I thought it would. It was challenging. Um, I didn't always know what I was doing, but luckily I knew I needed a narrator and I wanted music, original music written for it, and I needed someone to do the flyer for it. Uh, I did the editing myself, I wrote the script, did the script a little backwards, so I've learned some lessons about that. Um, but even though it was challenging, I'm really glad that I did it because I'm in a different place now. I have a greater appreciation for the broadcast students. And then um, Blair did this lovely flyer that I'll be posting around campus because I knew I could not do a very good flyer. Uh, that taught me a lot, that it's okay to reach out for help. Thank you again for joining us and good luck on your screening on April 12th. And back to you at the studio.